What's up team? Welcome back to work and welcome back to day. What day is it? It is day 14 of the RIP program. We got a upper body workout on the books for today. Let's hop into the warm up and I'll walk us through our first circuit. We're gonna start off with three inchworms, two push ups each inchworm just to get loosened up. Hands go down the ground, you're gonna walk out to a plank. You're gonna knock out one, two push ups, walk back in. Three times through. Then we're gonna come to our squat position, drop down to the bottom of our squat, upward rotation, pause for a second, opposite side. Three times through each side. Then we're gonna plop down on our stomach. We're gonna do 10 reverse snow angels. So flat head down, hands off the floor, reaching overhead, 10 reps. From there, we're going into 20 seal jacks. Three, two, one, 20 reps. Jumping those hands wide. Then we're going 10 big arm circles forward, 10 in reverses, 10 in reverse, 10 crosses. Let's get into it. Somebody hopping in here. 10 in reverse. And then 10 crosses. Hey Ava, what's going on? All right team, first circuit up for today. A little different format. We're going three rounds, three different movements, a little bit different timing for each of them, or at least two of them. So our first movement is gonna be a dumbbell chest press. So you can do this on a bench, you can do this on the floor. You're gonna come down, let the elbows tap if you're on the floor, you're gonna get a little lower if you're doing a chest press. Elbows at about a 45 degree angle, coming up and across the body. I'm going to start with 40s. Because of what else is coming after it, you don't want to go too heavy. So we're going to do 50 seconds of these. So we're here, nice and low, plant the feet, drive up. Nice and slow back down, drive back up. 40 seconds. Or 50 seconds, I'm sorry. Then we get 15 seconds rest. Then we're going to 30 seconds of push-ups. So standard push-ups here, core tight, feet together, down, up. You can of course modify to your knees or modify to an inclined surface. Then you get 15 seconds rest and then we're going dumbbell chest flies. So I'm gonna go 20s here. You're gonna be on your back. You can again do this on the floor or on a bench. Slight bend the elbows, coming wide, Squeezing up across the middle. Make sure I'm not going to hit my wall here. Show you guys. Coming up, feet planted. Nice and slow down. Arms come about parallel with your body. And then squeeze back up and across. So it's 50 seconds of chest presses, bench presses. 15 seconds of rest. 30, pu 30 seconds of push-ups. 15 seconds of rest. 30 seconds of dumbbell chest flies. And then 45 seconds of rest between rounds. Everyone good? Let's do it. How's the music level, guys? It's good? Somebody some bump it up. All right, let's get a 10 second countdown, team. Get your weights ready for the dumbbell chest presses. Good tempo here. In five, 
three, two, one, and work. 50 seconds. Nice and controlled, 50 seconds. Three, two, one, rest for 15. We're going push-ups next, team. 30 seconds of push-ups. Two, one, work. Elbows come down, 45 degree angle. Short break if you need it. Dumbbell chest flies. Slight bend in the elbows. Come down wide. In five, three, two, and work. Slight bend, take your time here. 30 seconds. Five seconds team two more rounds through this is an opportunity to reevaluate maybe the weights you used on the first round were you failing a lot I'm gonna stick with 40 just because that's back to back to back chest exercises I'm just gonna turn my bench this way give me some room 20 seconds team we're back to chest presses everything on a nice controlled tempo Start setting up. 10 seconds. Five. Chest presses on the ground or on a bench. And work. Focus all the intention on the chest muscles. Doing the work. Seconds of push up. Five. Get set up. Two. One. Work. I'm actually going to go this way. I might need to go to an incline. If you're taking too many breaks, drop to a modification. Either on your knees or an incline. If you've gone no more than two or three breaks, jump up. Eight seconds. Two, one, rest. Flies. Seven. Two, one, work. 
Dumbbell chest flies, take your time, 30 seconds. chest and the arms feeling. <laughs> One more round team. I'm saying same weights. Twenty seconds team. Start setting up. Get your weights near you. Let's get ready to rock. Push through this last circuit. Last round. Five, three, two, one, work. Find surface if you need to. I'm staying near my bench. Chest is pretty fatigued. Three, two, one. Let's work. chest to come up and across. Two, one, and rest team. Three minutes rest, circuit A done. Nice work. Upper body should be pretty warmed up at, at this point. <laughs> So, circuit B, a little different format here. We got 60 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest between each movement. We got two moves we're gonna work our way through. The first one is a new combo. All the movements that are within it are not new. We're just combining them together. So, for the first 60 seconds, we're gonna go hammer curl to shoulder press to tricep extension with two dumbbells. Because there's some limiting factors here, you want to go a little lighter. So I'll probably go 15 or 20. It's going to look like this. You're going to curl up, palms facing each other, press overhead, both dumbbells come down behind your head, elbows flaring out, squeeze up, nice and slow back down, fully extend. Curl, press, dumbbells come back, drive up, back down, uncurl. From the side, curl, press, down, up. Cool? That's our first minute. Our second minute is a cobra push-up 
into a piked push-up. So it's a little bit like a tricep exercise into a shoulder exercise. Looks like this. You're gonna be on your belly. Lower body stays on the ground. Press up, lock out the elbows. From here, you're gonna use your legs, push up into the pike, pike push up, drop those legs back down, back down and up. You can of course um, do a regular push up or if you can't do a pike push up, you can do cobra, lift up and then let yourself down slow, regular push up and then cobra back up. So working on that negative part of the push up if you struggle with pike push-ups. Those are two moves, team. 60 seconds each, a little longer interval. Totally fine to take a couple seconds break in there. Just try to keep that technique and form on point. Try to push through it as much as you can, though. Any questions? Good. We got 35 seconds, team. Let's get it. I'm gonna go 20s on these curl, presses, tricep extension, combos. Let's get ready to work. 20 seconds, team. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Work. Curl. Press. Down. Up. Take your time. It's a whole minute, so. Come on, Sam, join the fun. Slow on those curls on the way down. Really try to focus on the bicep. Don't just drop them. 20 seconds. Woo! 20 is starting to get a little heavy. Five, three, finish the rep. Two, one, and rest, team. We got a full 30 seconds of rest. So longer intervals, a little longer rest, a uh, little long rest period. We're going like a one to a half rest ratio. Cobra push up. So lower body stays on the ground, hands are a little lower than a regular push up. Really focus on squeezing the tricep. Then lift those hips up into a pike. Keep those toes tucked under. Three, two, one. Let's work. Squeeze, up, down, back down to the ground. Five seconds team, we're back to the top. Two movements. Now we're back to our hammer curl press overhead tricep extension. Shake those arms out. Deep breath. Let's get some oxygen to those babies. Get ready to work. 20 seconds. I'm sticking with 20s. Grab towards the inside end of it too for the skull press for a Grab towards this end, team. It'll make the skull crusher a little easier to curl, to press. One, so all the way to the back of the dumbbell. Go. I might go 15. 
Something kind of weird in the elbow. Drop the weight if you ever feel anything. It's okay, team. No egos. Woo! Something's aggravating that tricep. I'm going to shoulder just to curl the press. Always modify if you need to. Sometimes the body's not always communicating, working well. You gotta move away from it, live to fight another day. This feels fine. Work through it. Five, two, one, rest. Cobra push up to pike push up. Let's stretch out that tricep. Fifteen seconds, team. Get set up. Cobra to pike push up. In five, three, two, one. Let's work. but you do you. Curl, press. Get a nice stretch in that tricep on the way back. 20 seconds, team. Last round through. Short one to finish off. Seven seconds, come on. Let's get ready to work. Three, two, one, let's go.
30 seconds, team. second intervals. 15 seconds of rest between each interval. We got three moves we're working our way through. First one, you want pretty light dumbbells. 10s, 12s, 5s. We're going to do valley presses. If you haven't done these in a little while, dumbbells are up in a bent arm position, extending straight out and up across the body, letting the dumbbells tap together like that. At the top of the movement, you want your hands to go from here to a straight line parallel to the floor. Really focus on squeezing the upper chest, tap those dumbbells together, and then bring them apart. So you get a little bit of a squeeze, palms are always facing up. So that's our first move. Second movement, we're going straight up, standard dumbbell lateral raises. So we're actually gonna come from the front, a little bit of bend in the knees, hips lean forward a little bit, come out to the side, nice and slow back down. Lightly in front of the body, not much though. Really focus on that tempo on the way back down. Really focusing all the intention on the delt. That's the second move. Third one up is a bent over reverse A raise. That may not be the technical name, that's the name I made up so I can remember it. Slight bend on the knees, dumbbells. I'm gonna go the same weight as I used for the laterals. We're bending over, palms are facing forward and you're gonna squeeze up and back, controlled tempo. Really focus on squeezing those shoulder blades back in together. We're kind of making an A with our arms. So you can see the A here, focusing on the back of the shoulders in your mid back. So with dumbbells, it looks like this, palms forward, they touch at the front. I'm coming up and wide, my arms are basically locked out. You wanna feel this in your back. Think about squeezing the shoulder blades back and together. Those are our three movement teams. Team, any questions? 30 seconds each, 15 seconds between each of those, 30 seconds rest between rounds, three rounds through. We got 30 seconds, so we hit it. Let's do it. 20 seconds, team. Valley presses coming up, arms end up parallel to the floor in a straight line off those shoulders. Ten seconds. A little drag. Five, three, two, one. Valley presses up and across. Take your time. Keep tall chest. If you want to go back against the wall and feet off a little bit, get some momentum, get some stabilization, you can as well. Start out down here in this curled position and drive out. Two, one, and rest. Yeah, guys, you want 90 degrees and then drive out. Lateral raises next. I'm keeping the same weight. I'm on 12s all the way through. Three, two, one. Let's work. Up to parallel, nice and slow back down. Ava, lateral raises to start. That's the third movement. Coming out to the side. There you go. I know, guys, I give you a lot of instructions at once. I'll confuse myself sometimes. 10 seconds. Whew. Keep those palms facing the ground. Control that tempo. And rest for 15. Now we're doing the A raises. This one, palms forward. Bent over at about a 45 degree angle. Squeezing back. Three, two, one. 
Let's work. All the focus, squeeze those shoulder blades. Fasten together as you come up. Try not to use too much momentum. You can also stagger your feet if that's more comfortable on the low back. So one forward and one backwards. Seven. Two. One. Rest. Woo! Two more rounds through. Yeah, on the, uh, the A presses, you can stagger your feet. It takes a little strain off the low back if that's the thing fatiguing you. If not, you're fine like that. 10 seconds team valley presses, starting from this curled position. Up. Three, two, one, work. grip here too. If you want to rock the thumbs over the top, maybe helps and focus on the shoulders a little bit more. Unhook that thumb and put it on the top of the dumbbell with the rest of your fingers. It's called a suicide grip. Kind of forces the bicep out of the movement. Takes the forearms a little bit out. Six. Two. One. Rest. So I'm like this with my grip. Thumbs on the top. Five seconds. Bent over A raises. Three, two, one. Work. Take your time. Control that weight back down. Arms straight. You're only moving at the shoulders, guys. Elbows straight. My elbows aren't bending at all. Just a straight line back. Yeah, there we go. Five. Two. One. Rest. Woo! One more round, team. 15 seconds, valley presses. That last movement, you should feel all across the upper back. My arms are straight, I'm squeezing the shoulder blades back in together. Three, valley presses, two, and work. Pointed forward, 
Arms straight, only moving at the shoulder, not the elbow joint. Palms forward. Two, one, and rest. Three minutes, team. Woo! Final circuit, team. A little core. We're going 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Two moves, 30 seconds of rest between each movement. Our first move up is a legs up crunch. So, we're going legs up in the air, and you're just gonna crunch up, back down. So only flexing at the core, letting your core fully extend, and then crunching back up. To be sure you're going all the way back, I like to let the head tap, and then drive up. Focus on keeping a gap between your shins, because I don't want you using your neck. So if you find yourself like this, Pretend there's an apple underneath your chin, and all the movement comes from the rib cage, your core. You can, of course, modify with your knees bent. Legs don't have to be straight up in the air. You don't have to touch your toes. That's our first move. Our second move is a plank hip lift. You guys know the deal on this. We're going tucking the hips underneath like you're trying to make yourself have no butt. We're on our elbows. Slowly lower your hips and abs towards the ground. I like a slight bend in my knees to keep all the tension on the core. Let the knees touch and then squeeze back up. Down, up. You're not pushing with your shoulders. It's your abs lifting you up and down. So really focus on this contracting and getting closer together. That pelvis tilt is key. If you're overextended at the back like this, it's gonna be hard to get the abs engaged. So we're not trying to stick our ass out. We're trying to tuck the ass underneath. We're gonna get started in 30 seconds, team. Any questions? Two moves, 30 seconds each, only 10 seconds between each of them. So when I say rest, try to roll right into that next position. We're going at 15, team. Legs up, crunches. Focus on the quality of these, not more reps. Five, three, two, one, and work. 30 seconds. Up. Keep that chin up. Go on, five. Two, one. Right into your plank hip lifts. Five, on the elbows, two, one, work. Tuck that tailbone, nice and slow, feel the abs, squeeze. The whole time you're trying to flex your abs as much as you can, like someone's gonna punch you there. Ten, seven, Two, one, rest. On those plank hip lifts, pretend you're doing a crunch the whole time. Resisting on the way down and then pulling on the way back up. 20 seconds team, we got two more rounds through it. Nice little cool down circuit into the final, for the final circuit. 10 seconds, legs up crunches, get ready. Three, two, one, work. I'm dropping the legs a little bit. Into those plank hip lifts. 
two, one, work. Woo, come on, 15. Just watch me. Seven. Two. One. Rest for 30. One more round 13 and we're out of here. You guys are champions training on a Friday. You know what it is. One more round. 10 seconds on your back. Legs up crunches. Three, two, one, work. guys we'll be back tomorrow 10 a.m same time or your living room i don't know what i'm talking about i'm shot guys just a quick heads up you'll be getting an email uh this weekend next week's live schedule has some changes to it we're going monday through thursday live friday is an off day saturday saturday and sunday no live workout but i'm gonna be posting a new workout on saturday morning i'm out of town that weekend so 5 a.m a new workout will be up on saturday and we'll be live Monday through Thursday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will hope to see you guys tomorrow. Get a nice Saturday workout in. Have a great Friday, guys. Thank you.